Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Most Wanted Travel Series. Today, it's another Macau episode again and look behind me, it's very aesthetic. I know uh, it looks very European kind of uh, feeling because right now I'm on the other side of the Macau Island which is the Kotai area and today I'll be doing a review about the hotel I'm staying. Right, so the hotel I'm staying, I believe you already read it from the title of this video. So the hotel I'm staying is actually the Sheraton Grand located at the Londoner Macau Kotai. Right, so this is not the first time I'm staying here in Sheraton Grand. This is actually my second time. Uh, the first time I came to Macau, uh, this is where I stay as well. And it has completely changed uh, the whole building, right? Because previously it was called as the Sand City, right? Uh, or those Macau or those familiar with Macau, those people from Hong Kong, they call it Kam uh, Sing, right? But nowadays, after COVID, they have completely changed to another name. It's called as the Londoner. So basically, they actually build up another uh, whole area. Uh, it looks like London. Completely, if you if you see outside from the road, it's completely like a big band. They have the real size big band over here replicate uh, of the big band in, in UK, in England and it's quite amazing right uh, the artwork, the art piece over here, the craftsmanship over over here it's really fantastic so uh, in this episode I basically will show you how how's the room looks like and how's the services level, what's, what are the facilities they provided in this uh, hotel as I mentioned earlier this is the third time I'm staying here so the first time I stay in Sheraton as well the second time I actually stay at the Conrad uh, which really fantastic Conrad is a very beautiful uh, property but uh, since that I'm not staying here this time so I can't do a review so basically there are few hotels located in the same building itself right so they have San Regis the first one that's the top uh, tiers of the hotel selections in the same area the second one they have Conrad by Hilton and then the third one it's the Londoner and then the last one is actually the Sheraton Grand so previously it, it was San Regis Conrad, Holiday Inn and also Sheraton but now Sheraton managed to take down the two buildings so this area is pretty nice right it's located centrally located in Kotai uh, Island right so opposite you get the Four Seasons from Venetians and also the Parisians and slightly direct to, to the left side it's actually the Studio City which is all surrounded in the same area so as you can see these two buildings here these are operated by Sheraton Grand and that two building it's actually San Regis and Conrad so it's all connected together in this building and the front part is actually the Londoner which is the latest building they have uh, this whole area this is actually the fifth largest hotel in the world right as you if you don't know uh, the the largest hotel in the world is actually located in Malaysia, right? It's actually at Genting Highland Resort. So this basically this whole area, this is the fifth largest hotel in the world. Impressive, really, really impressive. So this is the surrounding area. Look, it's well paved. Greenery is really beautiful. It really looks like some fancy garden, right? I thought this is just a walkway basically. So they even have found water fountain. And right opposite this is the Parisians. So they have a replica of Eiffel Tower as well and right the other side this is the Venice uh, the Venetians. Let me show you how does the hotel here looks like. Of course first thing first this is the lobby and this is actually the general lobby where all the guests can check in over here but if you are Marriott Bonvoy member you can actually check in in the Marriott Bonvoy check-in hall right so this is the special check-in places for the member guests. It has a lesser crowd so I highly suggest that you sign up as a Bonvoy guest before you book the room here and then you do the check-in over here. Right now now let's move on to the room this is how the corridor looks like nothing fancy it's quite normal i would say and voila this is actually the room so first thing first let's check out the bathroom it has a very very wide bathroom it reminds me of the peninsula manila it looks similar as well with the old marbles and so on and it has a really really big mirror over here what i really like is they have two types of uh water over here hot water and also cold water for you to rinse up yourself and all sorts of amenities you can see they have body lotions comb 
and much more. They even have a weighting scale so if you are afraid that you are gaining some weight over here in Macau, don't worry, you can use this. And this is the shower room, uh, very basic. They even have a huge bathtub as well and same as well, they have two types of water and it's well clean and maintained. And toilet itself have a specific area. I like the toilet paper they are providing over here. It's really really soft and smooth. And this is the wardrobe. They provide two pieces of bathrobe, slippers, the bathroom is printed with the logo as well, Sheraton logo, and it's quite comfy, it's quite soft as well. And here you have the rates for your laundry, and let's check it out in the drawer, nothing, nothing as well. You have an iron and iron board, very good. Christmas period, you know, the Christmas month because the festive, during the festive season, the decorations around the, the street in Kota area or the hotels in Kota area, it's really fantastic. They are well decorated, especially the, the lightings at night, it's just fantastic. It's look, it looks like a theme park. So if you like shopping, especially branded and luxury goods, this is definitely a good area for you to stay in because everywhere there are branded stuff like Chanel, LV and, and so on, etc. Right, and also if you really want to enjoy the night uh, decorations, the lights, right, happening places, you should stay in Kota as well. Although keep in mind that uh, the prices over here comparing to the main island is a little bit more pricey. So keep in mind on that. Uh, food as well, right? But don't worry, all the hotels over here do provide free shuttle bus to and back to uh, the main attractions. So you can hop on the, uh, the free shuttle bus and move around without paying a single cent. And if you are into gambling or you haven't tried gambling before, you would like to try it out in, in Macau, right? Because this is the place where we know as uh, Las Vegas of the East. Each and every hotels, each and every resorts do have their own casinos. But as you know, I'm not encouraging guys to gambling. Also to tell you a very secret, spots where you can take really good photo at night which is actually on the bridge itself let me show you so as you can see the platform over there that's the best view at night to take night photography basically you are seeing the whole stretch of the road down the road looking at the eiffel tower studio city and all the resorts in this area that's all for this episode if you'd like to know how am i going to travel from macau to guangzhou please stay tuned for the next episode see you guys goodbye